It's day 150 of the project and to celebrate this special landmark day, I could have gone all fancy and brought you an expensive niche fragrance, but this is Mags Frags. So today we're talking about seven wallet friendly fragrances from Superdrug. And you can pick all seven of these bottles up from your local Superdrug store for less than 40 quid. Uh, so to find out uh, whether these are any good and whether they're worth picking up, stay tuned to Mags Frags. <laughs> Yes, hello again everybody and welcome to another episode of Mags Frags. I'm Paul and this is day 150 of my Fragrance 365 project where it's the fragrance that's the star of the show. So today's featured scent, or in this case scents, uh, are a range of fragrances from Superdrug and these all go under the brand name of Bespoke London. I've got seven to show you guys today. Uh, these are all from the men's collection, but there is also a female collection as well in this line. They all come in a 100ml bottle size, uh, they're all an EDP concentration, and they're all priced at £9.99 each. However, there has been a long-standing two-for-one offer on them, which effectively uh, makes them less than a fiver each. Uh, but because there was only seven of them in uh, in this haul, I had to select a duplicate of one of them as a freebie. So I chose this one, which was the uh, Caramel Amber and Cashmere, because it sounded the most interesting at the time. And I will be giving this one away to the uh, first person that types in the comments section the unique code word that I'll reveal somewhere in this video. But to win this one though, uh, you'll need to be living in the UK due to like international postage restrictions uh, regarding perfumes and also the cost as well. It would be way too much to, uh, to send this one out international. Yes, yeah, so into the presentation and all of these fragrances in this line come in these really attractive uh, frosty glass bottles with their own unique individual colour scheme going on. And I don't know about you, but I think these look really, really impressive when they're all lined up next to one another. They all feature uh, the bespoke London branding on the front, which is set within uh, a white square. And the, uh, the bot at the bottom of the bottle, there's the prominent notes of each fragrance, uh, just to give you an idea what it smells like, and that's printed in white. There's a, a plastic click-on cap, which fits really tightly onto the atomizer. You could easily pick that up uh, from the atomizer. Um, and yeah, and the spray quality on it is, is absolutely really nice. And when you've got these in your hand, they really do feel impressive. They, they feel premium quality and really well made. The boxes um, are also coming there like a simple and minimalistic design. And they follow the same colorways as the bottles. They have a matte finish uh, with glossy branding printed in white. On the front there's the brand logo and then you've got the name of the fragrance and then underneath that you've got the size and the concentration. At the top you've got another bespoke London logo and then at the back you've got all your product information, your barcode and also your batch code. And no, uh, I'm definitely not going to read out all seven batch codes. And if you are in any way worried about reformulations of a £5 fragrance, then you need to take yourself out for a very long walk and catch some fresh air. Okay, so to avoid the video being about two hours long, I'm uh, just gonna give you a very brief overview of the scent profile on each one of these, and uh, just tell you what the most prominent notes are in each one. I'm gonna start things off with this black one. Uh, it comes in a black bottle, and this one is called Black Suede and Fougere. And the prominent notes in this one are Amber, Suede, Rosemary, and Lavender. Uh, I would say that this one is a luxurious smelling fragrance with a fairly sweet and spicy scent character. It's got kind of like a stylish evening dressed up uh, kind of vibe about it. And I really like this one. It's got a really nice, uh, like an elegant projection and yeah, definitely uh, one that's really, really nice to start things off with. Uh, this blue bottle here uh, is called Wild Herbs and Tonka Bean. Once it focuses, there you go. And the uh, the prominent notes in this one are rosemary, sage, nutmeg, ginger, tonka bean, and cedarwood. 
This one is much more crisp and fresh than the uh, previous one that I've just talked about. And it starts out very citrusy, bright and uplifting. Uh, it does sweeten up a, a touch in the dry down, uh, but this for the most part is a very clean and energizing scent that I'd uh, tend to wear on like a warm and sunny day. This red bottle um, goes by the name of Caramel Amber and Cashmere. And the uh, most prominent notes in this one are rose, black pepper, caramel, amber, woody notes, uh, cashmere, sandalwood and vetiver. Yeah, I'd say that this one is uh, the warm and the comforting fragrance in the line. And it has a really soft and easy going laid back kind of vibe going on. I don't get uh, much or if, if any of the rows uh, in the opening, uh, but I would say you, you, this is more of like a, a sweet caramel kind of scent with a, almost like a soft powderiness as well coming from the cashmere in the base. This is uh, very soft and gentle and I would say that this would make for a really nice gr um, date night scent. It is, it's just got that really warm and like cozy feel about it. So yeah, this is definitely the, uh, the soft and gentle one of the line. The green bottle is uh, goes by the name of Gin and Citrus Woods. And the prominent notes in this one are gin, of course, uh, citruses, cedar, sandalwood, oak moss and floral notes. This is a fresh and light outdoorsy kind of scent with a sparkling combination of gin and zesty citrus notes. But as it dries down, it dries down to like a more green and woody kind of scent, which is sweetened up a little bit by the floral notes. It has a cool and breezy character uh, and it does have that kind of refre uh, refreshing like carbonated flavored gin quality about it. Next up in the bronze bottle, uh, we have one called Sweet Spice and Sandalwood. And the most prominent notes in this one are bergamot, nutmeg, saffron, jasmine, orange blossom, sandalwood and vetiver. This one is the spicy one of the line and it's a very peppery uh, opening. And then there's a really prominent like pencil shavings type woodiness in the heart of the scent. In fact, I'd go as far as to say that I've never come across any other fragrance with uh, more of that pencil shavings accord than I, than I get with this one. There's also like a, a bit of a dark, uh, dark, almost like a cocoa or dark chocolate kind of smell lurking in the background. And I've got to say uh, that this is the most standout and interesting one in the line. Even though it's not necessarily uh, my favorite one in the line, it does uh, have a really interesting scent aroma. In the silver bottle uh, is one that goes by the name of Fresh Citrus and Vetiver. And the prominent notes in this one are mandarin orange, ginger, vetiver, amber, musk and patchouli. This one is more of a fresh and clean smelling scent that I think would be perfect to wear as like an office fragrance and it would definitely complement a suit because it smells really sophisticated and refined. It's a masculine stylish scent that I would say is very versatile and it's one of those kind of jack, jack of all trades types of fragrances and it's definitely the one that I probably reach for out of these seven the most. And finally in the gold bottle we've got one that goes by the name of Oriental Woods and Amber. The most prominent notes in this one are saffron, tobacco, sandalwood, musk and amber. Yeah, this is uh, a very dark and mysterious one and it's the uh, probably the darkest one in the line. Uh, it's, it's got like a, a rich sweet tobacco blended with smooth sandalwood. Uh, you've also got a bit of a sweet amber in there, but it's this saffron which brings the kind of interesting twist and you get this little fiery kick of pe uh, pepperiness. It's very masculine, uh, it's a, an aromatic scent that I'd wear, I'd probably tend to wear this more in the cooler months of the year or as a, a night out fragrance. It has got an oriental muskiness and speaking of which, if you want to win uh, the bottle that I mentioned at the start of the video, type the word Oriental into the comments section. And if you are the first to do so, I'll be sending you out uh, this bottle. 
in tomorrow's post, so good luck. Yet all of these are very, very versatile fragrances and none of them are going to overpower people and garner any kind of negative reactions. Although I'd say the blue bottle, the green bottle and also the silver bottle are probably the best options for like the daytime wear because they, they're like the most bright, the fresh and the clean ones. The others lean slightly more towards the darker, sweeter side. So therefore I'd be uh, more likely to grab them for a night out. But like I say, they're all really versatile and none of them uh, are going to ch be challenging in any way. Yes, obviously these are fragrances that you're picking up for around about the fiver mark. So my expectations when I first picked these were very low. And I just thought to myself, if I could get an hour or two out of them and, and maybe just get one single compliment, they'd be worth reviewing. Uh, but I am glad to say that I am really impressed with how they've all uh, projected and, and performed. Uh, and I would say that they have, they all, each, all seven of them have decent projection for the first hour or so. And then some do kind of fit away fairly quickly um, but these three here the uh, sweet spice and sandalwood the uh, fresh citrus and vetiver and the oriental woods and amber they have uh, the most decent performance and i would say they are quite actually quite good performers and you're still going to be getting wafts of these uh, five or six hours after you first sprayed them uh, and, and when i think about it that, that, that's possibly why the the colored in the uh, the bronze silver and gold colorways but maybe i don't know maybe i'm wrong uh, they do remind me a lot of uh, this range from zara both in terms of how they look with the with the bottle presentation and the kind of performance that you get with these also. They ain't gonna fill a room um, and have 24 hours worth of longevity, uh, but they will definitely get you noticed and for the price that you pay for them, uh, I don't think they're bad at all. Yet I would say that the uh, the bronze, the silver and the gold ones are the highlights of the line. Uh, but I'd say all of them represent unbelievable value for money. I mean, seven fragrances for the equivalent of 35 quid that are all presented in this way and smell decent. I mean, come on, what more can you ask for? Uh, I mean, these aren't for your hardcore fragheads and I'm not for one minute trying to say that they're in any similar kind of league to a niche fragrance or even most designer scents for that matter. But if you are on a, a tight budget and you, or you're a young lad and you're just starting out on your fragrance journey or you're going to college or university in the next few months, then these will just get you off to a flying start and you can wear a, a, different, a different type of scent every day of the week. As far as I'm aware, I don't think uh, any of them are direct clones of any other fragrances and to me they all smell fairly unique. And overall I'd say I'm well impressed with these uh, for the price that you pay, so just give them a go and if they aren't for you, they're cheap enough just to uh, pass on to another family member or just a mate down at the pub, I mean you don't have to tell them how much you paid for them. Yeah, so once again, that's about it for today's scent of the day. But don't forget, coming up over the next few days, I've got some more designer fragrances to talk about in the 365 project. I've got another three fragrances from the Essence Vault on the way, and I've also got uh, part two of my women's series of perfume parlor haul videos. So some really good uh, and interesting stuff to come. And as always guys, if you have found this video useful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel. It's always great to hear your opinions, your thoughts and your critiques on all other fragrances that feature in the 365 project, so don't forget to keep your comments coming down in the comments section. But if you can guys, please try to uh, be positive and kind. I am starting to see a lot more silly and negative comments now that the channel's starting to grow a little bit, and my, uh, my block button finger's uh, beginning to develop a little uh, a little blister on it. Uh, last week someone commented that I, uh, I should consider, consider doing uh, audio only videos and to wear a brown paper bag on my head and with slits for the eyes because apparently I'm a, a bit too old and ugly to uh, be the face of fragrance reviews. So I'd like to thank David for his kind words. So cheers for that, Dave. Um, you know you're doing something right when uh, you start getting comments like that, but that's uh, the, one of the unfortunate aspects of uh, putting yourself out there, I suppose. 
But to all you uh, lovely, genuine and positive people out there, thank you once again for tuning in to this latest episode. Stay safe, keep smelling fresh, and I'll see you very soon for another one. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>